Ever since Nvidia came out with their RTX line of GPUs, features after features have been added to the RTX platform. And while most of them had to do with graphics, their latest addition comes in at the right time and really surprised me. This feature is called RTX Voice and today we dive into it. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is a special boot sequence. First, let's talk about compatibility. According to Nvidia, this feature only works on the current RTX 20 series of GPUs. But thanks to a Guru3D forum user, there's a workaround that works great with GTX 10 and 16 series cards. Apparently, the 900 series has mixed results, but some have even made it work on 700 series cards. I'll leave a link to the workaround down below. Now, let's jump into the PC. So first of all, RTX Voice is a standalone app, as you can see, which means it doesn't come with your GeForce experience or anything. You have to download it separately, and once installed, this is what it looks like. It's probably the most simple UI that I've seen for a noise suppression app. There's no limiter, no pass filter, or even a noise gate to adjust. Just one simple on and off button and a noise reduction slider that is defaulted at 100%. You can reduce it, but I find that 100% works most of the time for everything. Once installed, it also creates two new sound devices. As you can see here in the sound options for Windows, you have a new output, which is speaker and video RTX voice. We'll talk about that later. And you also have a new input, which is also NVIDIA RTX voice. You can either change it here as your default devices, or you can change it in your game or in your service of choice like Discord or OBS. It's up to you. Going back to the RTX voice app, as you can see here, you just need to tell it where you want the noise to be suppressed. For example, in input devices, I can choose my webcam, which we'll test later. I can choose my high quality microphone, which is Focusrite USB audio right here. And same thing for the output device. You can choose if you have multiple devices where you have sound coming out of, you can choose it right here. For example, speakers, monitors, or if you have two or three different um, audio interfaces, I don't know why you would do that, but you can actually choose where you want RTX voice applied. Once you click on that little box, it just starts doing it. There's no preparation. It just goes right into noise suppression and you have the little slider down here, but I'll leave it at 100% for the whole testing because I find it to be the best option. Let's get the testing. We'll start with some bar noises to simulate a pre COVID-19 internet cafe on steroids. Take a look. This is the bar scene on the uh, Logitech C920 and without noise reduction. This is the night at a bar test, still on the webcam, the C920, this time with RTX voice enabled. This is the night at a bar test with this microphone and no noise suppression at all. This is the night at a bar test with this microphone and with RTX voice on. This is the uh, gaming test on the C920 once again without noise reduction. And this is that same gameplay test on the C920, this time with the noise suppression. Now we're jumping to this microphone with the gameplay test, this time with no noise reduction at all. This is the gameplay test still on this microphone, this time with the noise reduction or suppression, whatever you want to call it. This is dogs barking in the background from the webcam audio and without noise reduction. This is once again dogs barking in the background, this time with noise reduction. This is dogs barking on this microphone, this time with no noise reduction. This is dogs barking in the background on this microphone, this time with RTX voice enabled. And lastly, we're gonna do a quick keyboard test. I have blue switches here, which are super noisy. So there you go, let's test it out. Test, test, testing, testing. I have to type while I talk. Once again, this is the same test with the keyboard, except noise reduction has been turned on. I'm really going at those switches, by the way. And this is the keyboard test without noise reduction. 
This is the keyboard test on the webcam this time, and this time with noise reduction. Now, keep in mind that this feature might not be super useful for gamers with angry moms, since the AI is recognizing speech and not actually learning and separating your voice from the background noise. Your mom yelling in the background will probably get picked up. But still, it's pretty damn impressive, and while there is some distortion in the audio, especially coming from the webcam, it still does some insane cleanup. Now, what about that second part of RTX voice? I'm talking about the uh, output device here. Well, it works just as well, and it's actually pretty cool if you do some experiments with it. For example, here is a song that I made about a case a few years back, and I'm gonna toggle uh, RTX voice on and off. Let's do it. You think you're good looking? I mean, yeah, you're pretty nice. Pretty cute grill in the front for the dust, but you can't remove it, yikes. At least you got a five and a quarter bay, removable, little flappy thing, LEDs on the door. Uh. I like those 120 fans, 60 bucks, that's a buck for a bang. Here's where we get a little dicey, ATX support, but the cutouts aren't happy. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You could isolate vocals, you'd be able to use them in your own remixes. You can also remove just the music out of a video. For example, this, which is an old boot sequence video where the background music was way too loud. He will possibly have some iPhone X-like gestures. In their developer's blog, Google has neglected to crop out the navigation bar, and this is what it looks like. The bar no longer includes a multitask button and the center home button looks smaller and sort of pill shaped, kind of like on the iPhone X. According, it's still a little bit there. You can still hear some areas of the music like snares, maybe the, the tighter kicks, but it removes a lot of it. Enough for whatever voice clip you want to cut out of this to be usable. All in all, it's a really cool and useful app. It's just a shame that Nvidia is limiting it to RTX GPUs while it clearly works with older generation. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this content week installment. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. The rib is doing better by the way. Thanks for asking. Oh, f oh wow. Okay, no it's not. Wow. Wow, getting up really hurt.